Hi, welcome back to the Organic Sports Channel. My name is Felix Edudakwa and this is Today in History for the 9th day of May 2023. Please do all to subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section. Let's start quickly from in 1951. England played their first international game at Wembley, beating Argentina by two goals to one in front of 99,000 fans. Now, since 1924, England had only played Scotland at Wembley. The match kicked off at 3 o'clock p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon. It would be another four years before the floodlights were installed at the National Stadium of Wembley. In 1961, a week after Iron St. John joined Liverpool from Motherwell for a club record fee of massive £37,500, a Scottish international made his debut for the Reds. Although Liverpool lost their Liverpool Senior Cup final 3-4 against Everton at the Goodison Park, St. John scored all three Liverpool goals in front of an amazing 51,669 crowd. In 1990, Sampdoria of Italy won the 30th European Cup Winners' Cup against Anderlecht of Belgium by two goals to zero in Gothenburg. In 2001 at the Accra Sports Stadium, it was a disaster as 127 Ghanaian football fans died in a stampede caused by firing of tear gas by police following a decision by the referee in a crucial match between Accra rivals Accra House of Folk and Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Very sad, celebrating 22 years of such a disaster. I hope we've learned a lot of lessons from that. In 2010, the destination of the 2009-2010 Premier League title went to the last day of the season, that's Sunday the 9th May 2010. Two clubs could win the title, Chelsea and Manchester United. A win for Chelsea at home to Wigan would see them champions but if they were to lose or draw, Manchester United would claim their fourth title in a row if they were able to beat Stoke City at the Old Trafford. United duly beat Stoke City by four goals to zero but Chelsea were dominant at the Stamford Bridge. Wigan went down to 10 men late in the first half. By the full-time whistle, the Londoners were eight 0 victors. Now that was a new club record league victory for the Blues with the goal seeing them become the first club to score a century of Premier League goals in a season. So the title was Chelsea's and a week later they beat Portsmouth at Wembley to secure their first league and FA Cup double. In 2013 Everton manager David Moyes was announced as Sir Alice Ferguson's successor at Manchester United but don't forget that he could only last at the club for 10 months. In 2018 Man Manchester City smashed the English Premier League records in a 3-1 win over Brighton. They became the team with the most goals scored in the Premier League with 105 goals, the team with most points at that time with 97 points and the team with most wins with 31 wins out of a possible 38 matches that they played. And finally here in 2019, English clubs created a football history by taking all four final spots in Europe's two major competitions. Now Chelsea and Arsenal qualified in their Europa Cup after a miracle Miracle Champions League wins for Liverpool and for Tottenham Hotspurs. Bringing an end to today's edition of Today in History on the Organic Sports Channel. Please do all to subscribe and also share this content with your friends. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow.